Hi, I'm Monique, and I'm on the move tonight at Magooby's Joke House in Timonium, Maryland. Today, Carver and Sully Productions presents Back to School Comedy Show, featuring some of the best educators in Baltimore who also parlay in moonlight as comedians. You never know what they're gonna say. As a former educator myself, I remember those days when kids would cuss me out, try to beat me up, didn't want to turn in their homework and always claim that the dog ate it or that they just couldn't remember. So I'm pretty sure that we'll hear some of these stories tonight, but I'm here for a good laugh and ready to enjoy myself. You know what? I ain't taking that. I'm going to call your mother. I'm going upstairs. I'm going to call your mother. You're going to get in trouble. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. Matter of fact, you ain't even got to go upstairs, Mr. Carver. You can take my cell phone, pal, and call her. What? I call on her cell phone. Call the mother. Hello, hello, this is Mr. Carver. I'm your student, your uh, child's uh, social studies teacher. I'm just calling to let you know that she just cussed at me. The mother like, oh, f no, that didn't. That's why I said to this little girl, what, you know, what, what are you doing out here? You got it, you got it. You're not supposed to be out here. She, she says, I got, she didn't even look at me. She says, I got bored with what they were doing inside. I came out here to pick flowers. I said, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get back inside. You gotta. You're not supposed to be out here. She turns and looks up at me with these immaculate braids, this terrifyingly cute face, and says, your zipper's open. Now, as a former educator myself, I believe that I had to have a little bit of a personality or right. on stage yeah, kind of persona yeah. in front of my class. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, I, that's, that's why I made it so easy, you know, such an easy transition to go on stage. I mean, I have a captive audience of 25 every single day that, you know, I, I found the first time that, that I was out there doing it and, and I was nervous, but I was excited for it. And all of the things that I do to keep all those kindergartners <laughs> focused on me, it was the same thing to do, you know, in front of a crowd of all these people. So, yeah, it's a pretty easy transition, actually. See, we live in two different Americas, man. Two different Americas. Remember when the anthrax scare happened? White people were scared to answer their mail. Black people was laughing they ass off. That ain't no new to us. We always scared to answer our mail, ain't we, black people? I know that you weren't in the classroom traditionally, but you work with some people, so let me know about that and how comedy really reflects that. Well, I, I spent 13 years as a corrections officer, so some people consider that the same thing, okay. um, except we had better attendance. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it, okay. Right. So um, I love what I do, man, and uh, I think anytime you have that many people in front of you and you can say something on a positive note where you can make people laugh, it makes a difference because you never know how many people really need that laugh. When you have a, a group of educators, you have an educated crowd so they can get all the little things. So it, I felt good. I felt like it was a moment where that was a bond. I didn't feel like I was entertaining like a bunch of people, like family. So it was, it was good. It was a good setup, good environment. I want to come back. You see, like I'm looking around today, and this is good. I like this. This is what's going on. Beautiful couple. This your lady right here, sir? Beautiful couple, that's good. Handsome man, beautiful woman, you match. That's important. You ever seen a couple that don't match? Like one person is good looking, the other one is, oh my God. You ever seen that before? It was real good for the, for the teachers. You know, teachers have a whole lot of issues going on with the kids in school today, so it was more about the teachers tonight and um, I'm here definitely to support the teachers. It's nice seeing all these young folks having a great time. I just feel sorry that they have to get up early, get up early tomorrow and go to work. I remember Sunday night worrying about Monday, worrying about lesson plans and so forth, but it was really very enjoyable. It was awesome. I mean, it's always a great show and it was always good to let some steam off because we're educators and we need a break. I thought it was great for all of us to get together and just have a lot of laughs and jokes and then we got to be back in school tomorrow so I thought it was really good. Really what we hope for is people to become a little more aware, a little more connected to people that are doing things already in the community and hopefully just bring people together. When you make people laugh you have to be able to relate with more than just one person. You have to be able to relate with an audience of people. And I think that's what brings people together. Um, I was listening to something, someone speak the other day, and they said there's only one race, that's the human race. So when you, you bring that bond and you, you make that a reality to show that really everybody's the same, regardless of color, race, creed, religion, because there's a nucleus that all of us 
all of us can relate to. And I think that's what comedy does. It brings us together within that one nucleus. We had a great time tonight at Magoobie's Joke House. The comedians were hilarious. The atmosphere was actually really great too. So if you're thinking about taking out a date or even hanging out with your friends, think about Magoobie's Joke House here in Timonium, Maryland. It's a great look. Well, I'm Monique, and I'll see you next time on The Move.